I have got a lot of work to do this evening. Yes, I do. Trailer's coming for some. A trailer's coming full of some cedar and I gotta cut it up and get it put away. Yep, now I just sit and wait. Got it all cleared out there. And uh, that's where I'm gonna put them. Um, once this stuff down, this is stuff that they use to uh, wrap when they're working on leaky condos. This keeps the direct sunlight out. So anybody drying wood, it's best to dry it in uh, a shady area where wind can blow through. But so I might as well rest before the shit storm shows up. Anybody got water jugs like this? Yeah, that's my water jug. Yep. It's a lot of wood. Okay, so it's not the best lighting, but there's a bunch of cedar burls in here. Um, these are, for anybody that's a carver, these are Pete Ryan's old cedar burls. Um, but he dropped them off to uh, my friend's place. He doesn't want to be on YouTube. But here we are dumping it. And then I got to get all this into there. And there's some like logs in there I got to cut in half. Anyways, there's some first growth cedar in there too. Lots of these logs are second growth. Oh boy. Yep. Anyways. Okay, so buddy's leaving and I gotta, it's seven o'clock at night. There's some nice cedar in here, second growth, but nice stuff. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. I already got some boards for some Christmas trees next year. Well, this year. Lots of, there's like 15 burls in here. Let's see, this one's got bug holes on the back, but. Yeah, these are from uh, Pete Ryan's shop. When his shop, after he passed away, um, when they took, took apart his shop, but he brought them, uh, over to Buddy's place and he threw these into the package. Yeah, some big burls here. Anyways, this is the biggest one. This is the biggest log here. And I probably will carve a nice big owl out of this one. But I gotta get to work. Yep. Like this one is, what is this? I can see all the sapwood has bug holes in it. So, I'll probably just cut, this is what I was saying on my live video, you know, I do a lot better selling smaller carvings than bigger ones. You know, like, so for the beginning chainsaw carvers, pump out wood spirits, pump out mushrooms, punch, pump out Christmas trees, um, gnomes, gnome homes. Those are going to be the stuff that sells faster and you can get better when you're doing it. You know, you learn your saw and stuff like that, but man, there's a lot of fucking burls here. Yeah, I gotta get to work.
See, I don't know where to cut this one because all it's got lots of knots on it, but uh, anyways, carry on. At least they're light and dry, so that's a bonus. see I'm not going to show you guys all oh, clean up all this stuff but uh, this is a great to have saves your back Man, I'm, I'm usually at home in bed with a hot bath already. Anyways, um, beggars can't be choosers, so I'll get all these burls put away and um, carry on. So I don't know, for some of you beginning woodworking carving people, burls, I call them tree warts. So most of them, well, any of the burls that we get around here are basically from old growth. They come from old forests, so um, you can't see by the light, but um, this burl here, there's lots of depth here to carve. So if I make this a wall hanging carving, make this, the, spin this around and carve a wood spirit or something in there, and then the burl make it natural. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, oh, fifteen or sixteen of them. What am I going to do with them? I'm giving some of them. Well, Larry's buying some of them. Dibs. You know, so like this can be sliced off. So you get a nice. Here's a nice little perfect size one for you, Larry. Yeah, but it's got a lot of rod on it. So that one's, fuck sakes. You know, maybe this rot could be cleaned up, which it probably can, because it doesn't seem like there's any rot on the backside. So anyways, getting there. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. This is just like a Jordy does kind of video. So, anyways.
cigarette butts all over the place. sink filming anyways you guys probably don't even want to watch this crap All right, we're getting there. It's not that hard of work, really. This is nice first growth, old cedar. Yep, so that's a beautiful piece of wood. You see this cedar, the sapwood, which means the outside. This is Western red cedar, all of this stuff, by the way gets bug holes in there so all this sapwood if you, if you see right here it's rotten I usually cut it off unless it unless it's solid this is first growth too I believe it is meaning nice tight grains it means it grew uh, this is first growth too Oh, this is the same one as that. Grew up in a natural forest, not man, not, plant, not planted by man. I must have hit some rocks with my big saw because the chain's dull. It's yellow cedar. 
That last log I cut was yellow cedar. I hate carving yellow cedar. So if you look here, that's all the sapwood, which is pretty well rotten. And there's a yellow cedar. Yeah, you can you can sand it up to make it look like ivory, but uh, I don't like carving it. It smells good, but after a while it stinks. This piece is white. That last piece was so light. All right. I got some Douglas fir for the farmer. Um, this piece of cedar right here. Carve this into an owl. And I can sell it for what I paid for all this wood. I like to say free wood's the best wood. But um, at least this stuff's not full of sand from the beach. So beach wood is hard wood on your... On your uh, chainsaw chains because all the sand in it maybe I'll carve this one into a nice eagle see there it's already cracking so I know where the main cracks gonna go that's perfect carving eagle over here this log um, I, car I did an on-site carving at a friend's house and of an owl he wants this a tree here and a tree there and he wants to make it a bench in between so I got on these boards I got this one. Look at all those freaking burls, man. I don't even want them. I'll keep a couple. But, uh, yeah, I think I did pretty good. Got this log here. See the bug holes? Probably means all the sapwood has to come off. This piece of beautiful wood here. I didn't cut it in half yet because I don't know what I want to do yet. And um, this yellow cedar, I'll probably just carve it into trees. Also, I got this little bonus piece. This. Oh yeah, I got some cat food. But he had some cat food in his truck. Got like six cases of cat food for free. It's not even expired. This piece of cedar can go on my ex-girlfriend owl in a nuke coffee table. Yep. So it all makes sense. Now I got to uh, rake all this garbage up and carry on. Thanks for the support, everybody. 
Hope everybody's doing good. Carbon fusion. Don't shit your pants. Oh, look at all this cat food, man. Too bad I wasn't a cat.